Welcome back, attractive and well-educated watchers, to Thrive, a lovely Spore 2.0, but with actual science. Last time uh, was a long time ago, but we have heard through the comment sphere that allegedly we should do more Thrive on the channel. So, we had one Science Saturday since getting recording, since getting that uh, message, and now we are indeed going to do Thrive. Uh, the reason we didn't do the last one was because there's like a, you know, like a Halloween episode or what have you. Uh, and there was a game that we actually were doing that had a, a science game that actually had a Halloween thing going on. And so we decided to play that instead. But now we're going to start a new game. We can save games now. We're very excited to see how they've upped it in the last, you know, few months. All right. Pretty much the same game as usual, so far. Uh, we're on a new computer, uh, so new everything right now. Oh, we have a little tutorial. Alright, alright. Uh, sure, let's begin thriving. Oh, well we are going to turn those tutorials off. Essentially, immediately. Alright. Nice. They have cheat keys to this, apparently, which we're never going to bother with. Alright, just the same old, same old. Find ammonia, find phosphates. Become... Cool new creature that thrives. That's, that's our goal. We're sticking to it. Alright, we'll pretty much take anything we can find at this point, but the only thing that we can eat is glucose. That hydrogen sulfide doesn't do anything for us yet. So we just need to take off in any direction and zoom in on anything we can find. Oh, there is some glucose. That's food. So glucose, very important. We like how it's very dark and red here. We need to find phosphates right now. Uh, when we press forward, we will just go wherever the mouse is. Oh, that's more. Yeah, those are phosphates. Alright, so when we get enough phosphates, and we get enough delightful, uh, okay, enough, uh, ammonia, we can evolve. But since we have such good stuff around, we're going to load up before we do that. You know, in an attempt to give the next generation the best results. This is considerably sharper. So this tell this right here tells us what happened. The amount of glucose has been reduced to 80% of the previous amount. Okay. That's unfortunate. Well we were gonna we were gonna move to this patch anyway, you know. Uh because there's a touch more glucose. Even if there's less ammonia, we're trying to get up. We're trying to get, as usual, up to the tide pools, because in the tide pools, there's tons of lux. And that's what we want. We want tons of lux. Because if we can be a creeping critter, that's better. Wow! I well, still haven't gotten that silly or bioluminescent vacuole down, have ya? But it looks better. It's much sharper. Much more defined now. We like it a lot. Uh, we're gonna hit up... One of these guys. And... Uh, oh... That turns ATP into nitrogen, but we seldom get that one because we're always struggling to get ATP. <coughs> Alright, oh. Damn. Life is already good enough because we loaded up so much. Life's already good enough to... Uh, what the heck is this? I don't look good. Oh ho! That is not good. Well, in that case, we're just gonna quickly evolve. <laughs> Get out of this place. It didn't seem very nice at all. Moving up in the world. So, here, not much. 
up here even less, actually. But we have an end game, you see. No desire to go into the abyss. We're going to the Bath of Pelagic. Yes. We are, of course, leaving some of our own behind. Ooh, jeez. Itacanus is scary. But we left that place behind. And uh, we're gonna make a rustocyanin molecule. And uh, probably, okay. Probably another thylakoid. Right. No behavior yet. A shame. So. Now we're some weird little doobal. Come on. Oh, right. We're not doing. We're not doing Among Us, so we can't just click on the screen. Oh man, that makes us feel very silly. All right, so don't go after the poison clouds. Do, what's that? Oh, that looks like an engulfy target. We're not big enough to engulf yet. Engulfing clearly takes some energy, so we're just gonna slurp this stuff up here. Oh, hey, look at them. It is very clear that we have friends in our midst. And hopefully, what the heck is that? Oh, that's iron. Well, that's just concentrated ammonia, but we're not gonna be here for very long anyway, so that's fine. We love how these things are literally just making stuff. Oh, jeez. All right, well. Good to know we super need to make more energy now. Well, looks like a metabolism is exactly what we're going to want. <clears throat> and we're just trying to get out of here. Soon. Soon we will see the light. Moving up to a brighter location, 200 to 1,000 meters below. We're finally getting some light. We're getting light. We don't know exactly. It, you know, it's not going to be much use now. You go that way, we'll go this way, buddy. Yeah, it's not going to be much use now. But we need some iron, we can eat that. But at some point, it's going to be very useful. Give the next generation the best chance you can before you divide, folks. But don't let yourself die from lack of uh, glucose. Because you can't divide and have chillins if you have an empty stomach and that kills you. Alright, bam. Hopefully we can... Oh, we just ate a thing, and that gave us all of the iron we'll ever need. And we're also going to pump all of our nutrients, get ourselves full of phosphates, full of ammonia, because those chillins need the best chance. Hopefully, if things go well... It'll be cool, and they'll have a quick, 
jump. Now, see, this is a considerably more full world. They've done well to uh, alter, alter the issues from before. Okay, so up here, not many resources, because down here is where all the resources are literally spilling out of the ground. Up here, they have to float on up. But there's a hundred lux, and it's 8C, and the conditions are good. They're very good, even. We have huge amounts of energy that can be produced up here if we can just unlock it. Yeah. At some point, we'll have to start making serious moves. We don't move very quickly right now, but even as we're moving, we're gaining glucose. Well, that's dangerous. So soon. Oh, more premium 3vm. Oof, get out of the way, buddy. That's some ammonia. 14ately we did stack the deck so we're going to get our goals met pretty fast first we're gonna go down there and catch a ton of phosphate if at all possible once again trying to stack the deck and we think next time our favorite thing is gonna be a flagellum we want to move faster I mean, don't get us wrong, it's all well and good and everything, but now that we have basic uh, food production down, we want to maintain the status quo. I gotta go up here. That's actually probably a better ammonia pool. So we'll just sloop all this ammonia. Bam. Met our ammonia, or uh, phosphate. Metaphosphate quotient. Let's just sloop as much ammonia as we can. Because as mentioned before, that's what gives us the competitive edge. Essentially watching out for our children before we make them, but before the concept of having children was like a thing. Alright. Yeah, almost. Uh, we can get impatient. Alright. Some auto evo stuff happens. We reproduce, so there's 104 of us. So let's look at the options we have here. The coast is decent. Estuaries, what's that? Nitrogen levels? Estuaries seem to be a decent go. Ooh. But it does look like the tide pools are the best choice. Moving to the tide pools. Oh, yeah. Gotta get. Uh, one moment. Hmm. We do not know. Nope. Uh... Performance, sound, mask. Once upon a time, we knew what we were going, how to shift things around, but we no longer do. Oh, we got it. Okay, okay. So we're gonna... Can we go up? We can't still. We're gonna do that. And then... And we have 45 points.
Nope. <clears throat> oh, yeah, we didn't... We didn't do that properly. There's more iron up here. Let's take advantage of that. Not ready for a nucleus yet, though. Alright. Okay. There's some ammonia over there. At this point, we actually will have to get... Okay, and phosphate's right there. We will have to get more photosynthesizing stuff. Like, absolutely 100%. Because we're a very, very hungry creature. Uh, we're good in this patch. There's a bunch of Primum Glidden to compete with that exploded, but whatever. As long as we stay alive. Kablam. We're just, we're just legit, like, trying to... Trying to get all of the, the, uh, photosynthesizing done. Can we? We still can't gain energy without, or while we move. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. It's thin around here, but not unmanageable. <clears throat> we've got... We've got some stuff. We just need to not get eaten by our competitors. Which is entirely possible. Oh, that's probably enough for us. Over here. Bam. Nope. Don't die. It's not time to die. We we do just need more food, we think. Sadly, there isn't any food around, just phosphates and ammonia. As we recall, we might always be making a little ammonia in the background, but we're not sure. Alright. Now we just wanna... ...loop through. That's glucose. That's food, that's fuel. Gonna do donuts in the, f in the food. There you go, fill up. Then we're gonna go on here. That's iron. That's more food and fuel over here. And more phosphates. We think we're gonna be okay for this one. Ow, stop pushing us around, fools. Yeah, no point mucking around. We can just get everything we need from here and be off. Zoom. Zoom. Oh, yeah. Definitely setting this next generation up to thrive. And as we can see, our fellows really like it, too. As they should. It's a nice place to be. And we filled up our almost everything. We're pretty sure we don't need to do too terribly much more for the next generation. We can be cool with it. Just split, you know. All right. Oh. Well, they're still sucking, but we're going up on the... We, we made a quick trip to the tide pools. Alright. We need another thylakoid.
We have a plan. Confirm. Oh yeah, we're in the same spot, so it's even better. So now, while we are moving, we can make energy. We're good like that. Om nom nom. Nom nom nom. Om nom 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 so much food. All of the food. Yeah. Doing donuts in the food. Kablam. Alright. Check this one. Yeah, we're actually happy we went back to this one. Alright, we're up to 256 population. Not thousands like we'd hope, but, uh, you know. Uh... Should we just keep going on the metabolism train? We or on the thylakoid train? We feel like we should. Boink boink. Now that we're up in the outer world, we really just like this idea of sticking around and getting really good at what we're already doing. Funny how that works in this strange concept called evolution, you know? Once you're... Once you're in a place and you find something that works, you tend to just kind of be uh, concerned with making it work for you. It's it's as if it's as if there wasn't some kind of plan to make a super creature or whatever, but really just a, you know a preconsistency to to uh, keep yourself fed and keep going on a more basic level than that. Imagine. All right. Om nom 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 nom. We're almost there. We'll get there pretty soon. Are they trying to devour each other? No, they saw like a thingy. Oh, don't touch that. That's a no-no zone. Alright, boom. That one's good. We think over here. And we are actually very successfully making energy as we move with our thylakoids. We like having all that energy to ourselves, And we're perfectly fine up here. Although it's sad that it doesn't have 200 lux anymore. That was a nice time. Uh... Ooh. Should we? We don't know. It's a strange foreboding that we see, feel like we're getting. Hmm. And the metabolism. And next time we'll put a flagellum in another metabolism. If we think we can get away with it. Which in this kind of environment we think we can get away with it. Just like on principle. It's a really good spot. And then we'll move around really, really, really fast. And then we'll focus on ourselves again, you know. And, and get uh, more... More ATP on the regs. What's that thing? He's not good to us. That's what that is. We are still making at full speed. We... Actually, it seems like we're barely holding on. So... We think we can get away with it for the next couple of generations. Since this is a very, very nice place. Uh, so, we're going to try to go for our third flagellum, genetically speaking. Because, you know, obviously we've got three right now. But, those will go away when we evolve. 
perfect spot to split and let our genes go the way they'll go. Everybody's doing well, but we're doing particularly well. Good. One flagellum. And one metabolosome. All right, now it's gonna be difficult because our thylakoids can't keep up with our osmoregulation. Those flagellum, they're, they're changing the scale. We're getting fast though. Getting fast. Fortunately, we are in an extremely nutrient dense area, which was the plan, because now we can just hoover up all of this yumminess on the tide pools. You know, 10 meters down at best. <clears throat> Those guys right there, only a matter of time. They're not gonna go anywhere, they're just gonna go into us. We're gonna put them in our bellies. Alright, here's a nice pool. Good and concentrated. Oh! Oh. Oh, without iron, we don't have the force to power ourselves well. Oh, jeez. This is a tough, uh, a tough time, actually. We need more ATP. It's not glucose. Oh, these guys right here. And when we're moving through places that are iron rich. Alright. We need more ATP. We're still cool here. Metabolisomes make ATP though. If we have enough glucose. If we had enough glucose. Okay. And now we're going to make ourselves red. Oh yeah. And as rigid as we can. So our speed goes down. It's still pretty high. Our size goes up a little bit, but more importantly, our health HP goes up a lot. All right. When we hang around on our own, we can cover real fast. Uh, it's looking like we can probably make a clean getaway on this build. <clears throat> We're getting more rigid, but that's whatever. We want to be more rigid. We want to slam our way into things and kill them. But we need to be able to make enough ATP. So, for right now, we just gotta keep moving through the giant clouds of delicious, tasty chemicals. They're good for you, don't you know? Uh, note, that's not, uh, we're not, we would not tell people to go swim around in chemicals. That's not a good idea. Like, oh my god, please, thank you. Uh, yeah, don't go around and swim in chemicals, kids. It's not a good idea for you. That's that's not gonna serve you well. Your parents will not be happy that you watched that you got that from this. So, so we are not going to tell you to do that. We are not going to do that ourselves either. Oh wow, it's getting quite competitive here. We're having bleep bloop noises. Oh, is that guy about to die? Oh, tell us. Yeah. Om nom 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 nom. This is how you evolve now. Uh oh. Normal activity. We, we gotta bounce. <laughs> Someone beat us to the narwhal train. We gotta bounce. Oh man. Alright. Oh. Hey, we had a successful scavenge. Come on. All right, guys, it's getting dangerous here. So, sh 
should we maybe... Huh. If we just stay really fast and produce and are really chonky and produce a lot of energy for ourselves, we're pretty sure we can get away. And maybe even we can scavenge other places. Also, our computer's not behaving, or maybe it's the program itself that's not behaving. But we gotta get away from all of these very hungry meat monster narwhals and stuff. Fortunately, we have more flagella than they do. Oh! Don't mind if we do. Yum, 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 yum. Oh, they got distracted by some iron, which they can presumably eat too. Feels like a lot of stuff in this world is kind of based off of us so far, which is understandable. Oh, no you don't. Oh, jeez. Yeah, you're probably noticing the flickering and so on. It's really annoying, but the game is still running. Just gonna thread this needle over here. They don't seem too aggressive. At some point, Premium Thrivium is just going to go super aggressive. Armored tank like cell that's just gonna go buck wild. Oh. Oh, they're clearly. clearly a different creature. But we don't need them, so that's okay. Because we need all this ammonia. Oh, delightful. Oh, what's going on here? Okay. Okay, okay, we are sustaining. Game is just derping a bit. Bloop. All right. We're, we're getting to be a very full world here. But we think, we think our body's ready. Yeah. Our body's ready. That's where our nucleus is gonna go. Oh no! Well that was, yeah, let's undo that, thank you. Uh, that was super unfortunate, and that would have made us very sad. Uh, double. Double membrane. Ooh, sorry. Gonna have to go with... Oh, we can't. Okay, that's fair. Gonna have to bring that up. It's 30 M it's exactly 30 MP for another one. I feel like we're kind of obliged to. One moment. Ooh. Ooh, we can. That's exciting. Okay. Okay. Let's do this. Leroy Jenkins. We'll put one more predatory pile on the line. <clears throat> Let's go. We're going to be a very successful stabby creature. <laughs> oh, and there's a bunch of us. We've started to become predator predatory, no doubt. Oh, 
But I'm going there, that's just death. So it's a little difficult now to keep our energy around, although we make it fast enough. What's this? Food, you say? Um, nom, 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 nom. Oh, it goes away fast. Darn. Oh, you gotta be quick to scavenge a fool, don't ya? Oh, well. That is how the cookie crumbles some days. That's fine. There's plenty for us, and that's what matters. This line will be the successful one. Yeah, this is much more enjoyable now. The world is a lot more full. And that was like our big complaint, was that the world wasn't very full. We would literally just float around for, you know, 20, 30 minutes, a whole episode, and get very little content worth actually airing. And let's be real, nobody wants a game like that. They don't want, they don't want to run a game like that. Bam, let's do this. This one, this one has been lightning round compared to the other ones. All right. All right. We're gonna do this. And we're gonna change to a silica critter. Ooh, silica critters are really good on Osmo regulation. Oh, bam, let's do it. We're very slow. We're, we're the tanks of the cellular world right now. But in time, that too will change. Yeah, and once we stop, it goes up fast. So we don't worry that terribly much. Oh no! Oh no, it crashed. Well, unfortunately, that, that Thrive Critter is gone. Well, thanks a bunch, guys. Have a great night. Stay safe. Stay inside. Save lives. And remember the Black Lives Matter. Bye!